So 2007, right? That's when the Briscoes became the the, like the franchise of Ring of Honor. So they were big deal. They wrestled pretty much underage in like 02 or 03. Jay Briscoe wrestled the classic with Samoa Joe at, at our best uh, cage match where he bled like, uh, uh, what's the word? Bled like a stuck pig? Is that, mm-hmm. That's an American phrase, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. He was, oh, nice slaps. And um, that was the first show after TNA had pulled all their talent from uh, Ring of Honor show. So I think they lost AJ, they lost Daniels. Um, they tried to lose Bring Punk, and Punk said, Fuck you. I if you make me choose, I'm gonna pick Ring of Honor. And pretty soon after uh, Punk became the head of the uh head trainer of the wrestling school. You know what I will say though, the Briscoes have done a really great job over the years at like continuing to reinvent themselves. Cause like they they've had so many different versions, but they continue to grow and like I mean they're still fairly young. Yeah, I think that even like here they're only 22, 23. Yeah, like, like they were wrestling under a lot of miles to go. Yeah. And I remember, they I look remember almost unrecognizable to me here compared oh, to well, the what hair, I know them like now, right? Yeah, the hair. I think somebody's missing a lot more teeth now. Um, yeah. Mark but, had, yeah, Mark had his two teeth knocked out, and he did like he got concussed, and I think he might have lost it in the shooting star press or something. I know there's something really scary. Yeah, around this Horrible. time, but um, yeah, they, they so they came back in 2006. Uh, there's an unbelievable match with um, Austin Aries and Roderick Strong, who were the champions at the time. It unified again, a show we should one time watch. That's the one with Danielson beats McGinnis with the elbows, and it's oh, 